Wallace Simpson was a controversial figure in the history of the British monarchy. She was the reason King Edward VIII, uncle of Queen Elizabeth II, abdicated from his throne in 1936. This is how she sadly passed. For Edward, his relationship with the actress was more important to him than his place on the throne. The royal family had not accepted the American as part of the monarchy in Great Britain. After all, she was middle class and had two divorces behind her, something that was not well seen at the time. And so, the abdication of King Edward VIII took place and, therefore, George VI ascent to the throne. But Elizabeth's father was not actually destined for that position. This changed the entire monarchy structure, because if Edward had not voluntarily abdicated, Elizabeth II would never have become the Queen of Great Britain. I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. Edward VIII during a national address in 1936. After resigning from his position, he moved to France with Wallace Simpson, where they were married on June 3, 1937. During the course of their marriage, there were rumors that the actress had many affairs, none of which were ever officially confirmed. Neither of them had a good relationship with the British royal family during their lives together, which could be due, among other things, to the breakdown of the British crown. Despite her controversial lifestyle, Wallace Simpson remained by Edward's side until his death in 1972. A few months earlier, it was announced that the Duke of Windsor had throat cancer. Wallace herself remained in Paris after her husband's death. Just a few years later, she developed dementia. Little by little, Wallace's health deteriorated. She lived for a little over eight years with her illness. Joanna Schutz, her private secretary, assured in an interview with The Telegraph that Wallace was unable to consciously perceive her surroundings in the last years of her life. She suffered a lot. It was heartbreaking for me. Joanna Schutz for The Telegraph. Wallace Simpson finally passed away on April 24, 1986 in Paris at the age of 89. Wallace was buried alongside her husband in the Royal Frogmore Cemetery near Windsor. <laughs>